it's only a bloody new Travis beer. Welcome to the beer review of me, Jake. So I hope you enjoyed that little intro at the start there. Just a bit of silliness. Just a bit of fun, but onto something way more serious now. So we are looking at Trappist Rochford. It is their triple extra coming in at 8.1%. So this is a, a triple. Lots of people have been talking about it. It's it's of note because, I mean, this is the first new beer that this Trappist brewery has released in, in decades. So it's, it's it's garnered a bit of fanfare. I used, to, I used to be massively into Belgian beer and I've wanted to do more Belgian beer on the channel. So I'll pick this one up and alongside it as well. I thought a bit of interest. I also picked up the mother of triples, the West Mile triple. Coming in at 9.5%, so it's a, it's a, a significantly bigger beer, but reportedly the first triple ever made. So I thought the young upstart ooh, versus the versus the old school. I mean, Rochford's been around quite a while. Um, I mean, they're, eight, they're six, they're eight and they're 10 are just uh, classic beers. So first let's give the old, let's give the, let's give the young upstart a little go, shall we? Yes, yeah, so I'm not expecting the, the beers to be to be too similar. I just thought it'd just be nice to try them side by side. The OG versus the, the new G. So let's go for a little pour. Ooh, a little lively sucker. Let's crack the old West Mile open as well. You could bludgeon someone to death with these West Mile bottles. You really can. God, the, the, the aroma is bouncing out here. Whoa, well, we were wow. So West Mile is going to be on my left. The Rochford is going to be on your left, my right. And let's see what we've got here. Okay, in terms of appearance, they've both got sort of nice, tight, fluffy, thick heads. The West Mile is, is a little bit more golden in colour. There's a, and, and I mean, pin bright. Yeah, the, the Rochford is a top end of gold, bottom end of amber. And, it, and it's got a slight haze to it. I mean, these bottles have been sitting, they haven't been chucked around. And, but I mean, you can sort of tell, well, I don't know if you've able to there, but that the Rochford is, is hazier in the bottle. Trendy, hazy, hey? So let's go for a smell of the old Rochford Triple Extra. I mean, that just smells delicious. Reminds me of like grated orange zest. There's a little prickly pepper vibe to it. Oh man, that sounds sweet. Oh, I want to say I want to say marmalade, but it's, it's not it's not jammy in that respect. Something that's remind me of sort of like fresh pine, like like a plank of pine. Oh, that smells great. Let's let's have a little smell of the old West Mount. Whoa, whoa, whoa. well, well then. So so biggest difference between so far the Rochford is sort of is sort of live and zippy and 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 fruity and and citrusy the, the west mile is pungent in, in in a different way i get a big hit of banana almost something that's remind me of like golden syrup there's there's a nice bready character as well it's probably it's probably a richer it, so th this is zippy and citrusy this is this is this is richer and deep and, and bready deep and crisp and even well chalk and cheese so far chalk and cheese so let's go for a taste of the the, the rochefort triple extra cheers oh delightful delightful I mean, the first thing that struck me there is the is the viscosity of the body. That is not a thin beer. Again, that orange is coming through. If you want to be specific, clementine, but it's piff, and it's the zest. There's a warming white pepper sensation. But that's lovely. And for for what was it, eight point one? It's masking it pretty well for me. There is there is a bready malt character for me. It's remind me more of something lighter like sourdough something like that but let's go for a taste of the west mark cheers the body's still rich and full it's, it's not as i wouldn't say it's as creamy that the the, the rochford had a creaminess this this is more got an effervescence to it yeah so you're tasting the alcohol a little bit more on this one whereas there was a sort of a light pepperiness to the rochford this this is spicier bit of a cliche but getting those foam banana sweets yeah, really nice brown bread. But this is this this reminds me of almost like almost like a fireside winter sipper. I'm getting a lot more burn as it goes down. I mean it is it, it is 9.5. It is is that little sort of step up in um LBV. Whereas this is so citrusy and characterful and, and, and you could drink it in the summer, you could well you could you could enjoy it anytime. <laughs> yes. Both amazing beers. But you know what, for my for my palate, I, I think I, I think I'd give it to the old Rochford there. West Mile is a classic, of course. You gotta give it its props. It's done the time. But the Rochefort actually takes it for me there. That is a delicious beer. Absolutely delicious. Ah. 
So let me know your thoughts on these beers down in the comments below. If you got a chance to get hold of this, it's making its way around the world now. And this is always pretty readily available. Um, but let me know your thoughts down below on these beers. I've been Jake. Remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Ah.